I don't get itchy until I start talking. I, I, it's I the devil. Know. Is the devil okay? Yeah. The devil gives you a little bit of uh, itchy nose. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I, I am Spencer Cartier. I am Rooster Cogburn. Rooster Cogburn. And this here is Frank wearing his little uh, rain jacket. It's coming down. Multinational. Multinational. Frank, Mr. Multinational. It's like Mr. Worldwide, but that was yeah. already taken. Right. Um, It's really coming down today pouring rain out of the out of the heavens april showers <laughs> bring, <laughs> bring May May flowers. flowers yes it is april it is it is springtime it is raining yes all <laughs> good things must come to an end how are you guys doing how are you doing um us all of us all, all 17 of we're us at 17 yes i like the top one is that a bear it's a bear in my hair i have on 17 hats because this is our 17th podcast of Of lent Lent. 2022 yes very exciting stuff i still haven't been on tiktok good it's one of those things um where once you are without something you realize you can be without it and then i always find this in lent it happened to me when i was vegan it's like when it's over it's like i force myself like oh it's time to get back on. it's time to do it again yeah and then it's like not so fun. Not so fun. Yeah. And then the question is like, maybe just stop forever. Well, that's how you break a habit. I forget how many days. I think it's 30 days. 30 days, right. So 30 days breaks a habit. Before 30 days, you're kind of wanting to go back to it. But after 30 days, it kind of falls off your, yeah. your interest in yeah. it. You, you lose that, that, that need to keep doing it. Um, but yeah. So guys, if you don't already follow our Instagram at Crook and Crow, start following it. We're doing the Bible draft. Yes. Every day, books of the Bible pitted against each other. Right. Because what the Bible was too loving and fun. We said, let's turn this into a competition. Let's turn this into a gladiator. <laughs> Judgment. <laughs> let's turn this into a gladiator style battle. Yeah. Verse versus verse. Right. David versus, verse versus David. Verse versus verse. I like that. VVV. And it's up to you to you, decide. You decide. I think today's is up. It's, um, don't tell me, it is Romans. Against against Isaiah. Isaiah. And currently, Romans is taking the lead. Also, in our highlights, you can see the Bible bracket of all the days you've missed. Yes. To see who's been winning. Um, sometimes it's it's incredibly unfair. The fact that Isaiah is not winning right this second is What you're doing right now is you're being biased. It's un- and no. you're, not, you're not allowed to be biased. It's unforgivable. Now, they're not supposed to know who's picking what. Okay, so... Uh, it is forgivable. <laughs> So everyone go. go the problem Romans. with Isaiah is that some some books like Esther. Yeah. There's just one verse in there that, that yeah. can be put on a poster. Isaiah has gem after gem yeah. after gem. So the pressure to pick the quote, to pick the verse for people to vote on <clears throat> when it's not winning. It's like, I should have put up the other one. Yeah, <sighs> I know. That's a tough thing about it. So obviously, um, you know, it's like a bracket system, like March Madness. And we're not pick. It's about the books, not the verses, so mm-hmm. much. So every time a right. verse wins from that book, you can no longer use that verse. Yeah, you use it already. It's kind of like these card games where it's like, do you use your highest card? Right. And then you, what is that one card game where it's like that's the whole point of it? It's like aces are the highest, and uh-huh. if you put an ace down, um, and then the other person put a two to do a throwaway card, yeah. it's like no, I wasted my ace. Yeah. And so anytime I'm looking at verses, especially when I have a good book compared to yours, right? I'm looking at it like, do I just kill him with but this if, book? But if right, but then if it doesn't pass, then it doesn't it, pass it the poll, thing pointless. Then it's gone forever. Guys, do you see how exciting this is? So follow Be part of it. Follow Crook and Crow on Instagram and get involved. I am Rooster Cogburn today. You are Rooster Cogburn is a character in the 1969 movie True Grit. Okay, you know John Wayne. <clears throat> John Wayne Gracie. No, I think that's John Wayne Gacy, and I think he was a serial killer. <laughs> the original John Wayne, the Duke, the American the cowboy. No, we got to go back, 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 Spencer. Okay. April 7th. Today's April 7th? Butch Cassidy? Today's that a- era? He's older than them. Sunday He was good? born in 1907. John Wayne. Um, oh, yeah. Um, um, call, 
Wait, there's a rap lyric. Oh, I bet. He's he's an American icon. And he's like a cowboy? Yeah, of course. Because he's like, um, oh, what is it? What, how does the lyric go? Something like, but I call him Wayne because he's a shooter. Yeah. I'm with RJ, but I call him Wayne because he's a shot. Of course, cowboy. John Wayne. And um, today's April 7th, right? Yeah, yes. it is. Okay. April 7th, 1970, he, he was at the Oscars. Oh. And he didn't smack anybody in the face. If he did, that would have been absolutely crazy. 6'4", known to be the biggest, toughest. <laughs> kind of like me. <laughs> yeah. Um, and But also, like, he was, like, a good guy, you know? Oh. So, of course, he wouldn't be him. He was a law-abiding man. Yeah. So, he won um, <laughs> April 7th. So, you know, the, the Oscars are always on different days yeah. throughout the years. 1970, it was, it was today, April 7th. Oh. He won it for True Grit. And um, according to his son and his grandson, Matthew, who was a priest, uh, he converted, he con- John Wayne converted to Roman Catholicism shortly before his death. Mm, what was he before, I wonder? I don't know. We could look, somebody could look that up. And um, he, re- he requested on his tombstone. So the other day, I think yesterday was... Figure out your epitaph. Yes. Um, we didn't talk about it, but it was oh, okay. national write your epitaph day. Right. So like, what do you want it to say? Here lies, you know, yeah. uh, on your tombstone. So he, his request, and, and they carried it out for him, was Feo Fuerte y Formal, which is a Spanish epitaph. Wayne described as meaning ugly, strong, and dignified. Ooh, that's true. That's what would be my new Tinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. And then see who gets it. Yeah. Nobody. I probably. swear I don't. I don't get itchy until I start talking. I, I, it's I the devil. Know. Is the devil okay? Yeah. The devil gives you a little bit of uh, itchy nose. Okay, so <laughs> John Wayne won the Oscar on this day, on fifty-two this day. years ago. Good for him. Yeah. Got a lot. Is he, he passed away? He is. He's passed away. <laughs> long, long ago. <laughs> he would have been a hundred in two thousand and seven, I believe. Oh wow. <laughs> um, guys, it is April seventh, as you just mentioned. It is uh, national. It was yesterday we said it was New Beer's Eve. Yeah. Um, it is New Beer's Day. Oh, of course. So, um, you know. Um, so raise your glass if you want some. It's also. It's That's also. Pink. She has local ties. It's also like drinking awareness day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. Well, no, I think it's good. You know what? It's uh, everyone can celebrate. Actually, you know what? I don't think it's good. Okay, wow, I you're hate- on a seesaw right now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I kind of like it. No, I don't it's think it's National good. Indecision Day. <laughs> National Indecision Day. <laughs> I like both of those holidays. You know, like, I, I, how do I put this? Something that always rubs me the wrong way is counter like protests. Oh, uh, yeah, like if someone's protesting something and then yeah. someone protests not for their own thing, yeah, but against that. Okay, it's like, dog, do your own thing. Okay, and so. There's a lot of people who, you know, uh, you know, enjoy a, a beer and IPA. A lot of these, like, you know, like so, oh, like no, the like, carnivores want to celebrate Meat Day, and then the vegans want to celebrate Don't Eat Meat Day. But instead, they're both protesting each other on the same day. Yeah, exactly. It's it's like a Meat Day, Red Meat Day. Okay, which and it then, is. It's Thursday, right? And then and then it's the vegans, extra Meat Day. The vegans instead of celebrating Vegan Day, right. a different day, right? They're celebrating no meat day. Yeah. On meat day. Yeah. And it's like, why? Why? Like, why? <laughs> I believe in promoting things. <clears throat> yeah. I believe in everything about this, with this sobriety. It's not even the sobriety day. It's just like talking about the negative effects. Responsible drinking, responsible gambling. And what my problem with counter protests is I feel like it, it makes the argument not as valid because it's easier to write off. Yeah. Like it, you, you turn to a fun killer rather than a, a promoter of knowledge yeah, okay on their own day it's like there's nothing to do it's uh i don't know it's march march 12th yeah and it's like oh well, did you know that it's national alcohol awareness day and it's like oh okay let me do some research on that yeah but can you imagine you're out on, on new beers day i know and you're, you're celebrating you have your, your your lampshade on your head yeah and then someone someone walks up to you and tug <clears throat> you know it's actually it's actually national beer awareness day yeah come on Everyone do their own thing. No more counter protests. Okay. It's also National Burrito Day. Burrito. So, burrito. 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 Um, do you like burritos? No. Aren't they kind of mushy? Uh, yeah. I'm not into the mushy. Well, I, I was thinking about this before we came on live, and I was thinking, 
not a burrito guy. Like no. for me, a burrito is like if you have a pizza, a mm-hmm. pizza's great. Mm-hmm. And then you grab the corner crust and you roll it up and you start eating it. Why don't you go slice slice? I'm a big taco guy. Listen, you can't even say that because uh, a pizza has such a firm, even even a soft crusted pizza is still firm. Yeah. The burrito is yeah. so soft. I guess more more of the analogy. That's why I don't like the filling yeah. is overwhelming the the wrap. More of the analogy, I guess, is like I like everything on a burrito. I like the soft tortilla the same way I like everything on a pizza. But it's like I don't need it all at once. I'm not really into beans. Yeah. And I think beans are in burritos. Yeah. Maybe it is a little different than tacos. It's different than tacos. And also... You could make a taco style, like a burrito Well, you can make taco. anything. I'm, I'm guessing you can have a breakfast burrito, which would be like nah, sausage and egg. You're going to hell. I'm just kidding. Ah, um, well, anyway. That, you know what, though? I feel like breakfast burritos, I could see, like, when I think of that, I'm just like, oh, why are you ruining a burrito? But that's probably there's probably some authentic breakfast burritos. Like of I'm imagining like South American countries where they have a lot of eggs right. and, and, and beans and then right. hot sauce. Like I could see that. Just on a tortilla. Well, yeah, because if tortillas are a staple in your pantry, in your in your uh, culture, in yeah. your society, you're gonna put anything you find on a on a tortilla, which I have taken to doing because I'm gluten free. Mm. A lot of breads um, are not gluten free and you rolls. Can have the old corn tortilla. They have, they have soft. I think it's Mission has soft um, gluten free. Is it corn tortillas or is it gluten free flour tortillas? I think they're gluten free flour tortillas because they're oh. very soft. Um, gluten free bread has a tendency to be very breaky. Yeah, crumbly falls apart very. But with the tortilla, it doesn't. And yeah, I you can you can pr- just put anything on there really and uh so if it's in your house I'm you sure- can put that bleep on anything remember that hot sauce <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i do um so burritos no not my first choice if somebody likes burritos um that's i'm not gonna lie if, that's I'm, if i'm really hungry i'll take down a burrito but i, I guess the more of what i'm trying to say is i would never pick a burrito over other tortilla style mexican D- 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 foods. All right, so we'll meet you back here on on Taco Day or or uh, 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 I don't even know what the other ones are. Taquito Day. I just don't like the Enchilada. filling. I don't like the filling to um, I don't like the filling to wrap ratio of a burrito. And that's your forte. So should we make a, a counter protest holiday? Yeah. Stop eating burrito today. <laughs> or less filling in the burrito. Let's. Well, I mean, then where's the line drawn? When, <laughs> when, when do you get back to a taco? Finally, to wrap up the holidays, guys, it is World... I get it. Wrap up. To wrap up the holidays in one big burrito, it is World Health Day. An important holiday. Our health is so important. Like the World Health Organization, the WHO, WHO, or no, just just think about your health world. Or is it the health of the world? Like the earth? No. (laughs) I don't know. Maybe the WHO started it, but it's World Health Day. Like the band? (laughs) Sorry. World health. It's the hats. <laughs> it's the weight of the hats on my yeah. head. Okay. <laughs> World health that it's just about uh, health awareness. You know, hey, we talk a lot on this podcast about your spiritual health, yeah. but you know, we always talk about your physical health needs to come first. Well, I'm going to do a counter protest to that because I think we have to have less health awareness because health anxiety is a real. Because if health anxiety is a real okay. thing, and at this point. Be aware of your heartbeat. Be aware of blood pressure. Be aware of the spots before your eyes. Be aware, you know. That you, Too much sun. Not enough pee. sun. Yeah. yeah. And I'm so aware of my health at this point that every single solitary twinkle, t- twitch, and itch, I think, ah, WebMD, Google, da 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 The human body is amazing. It is self-healing. It is self-rejuvenating. It knows what to do. It pumps and it and it goes and it re- re- regenerates. And it takes care of itself. Okay. Okay. I think we've swung too far to, ah, watch out. What Everything. do you do? Better get yeah. there. Get the scan. Get the thing. And and it's always both sides. It's like too much of this yes. is bad. Not enough of this is bad. And we talked about John Wayne in the beginning. And I heard he died of stomach cancer. And I heard there's there's um, actually like very probably a, 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 a rumor story. But that he, had, he like fell over when he was in the bathroom 
because he hadn't gone to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. He hadn't gone to the bathroom. He hadn't been able to go for for days or weeks or something. He and exploded. He, he didn't explode. Probably he just died or something. Um, or was that Elvis? I think they both had some some sort of stomach blockages. Anyway, <laughs> you know, you hear those things. He died in, in like 72 or something. Yeah. Um, and then you think, well, I better get checked. I better be a colonoscopy. These, 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 these um, stories, of course, John Wayne, if he had been proactive, he could have maybe caught his stomach cancer earlier and treated it. Yes. But to to make everybody afraid every time they're constipated that, that they might be the next John Wayne, I just feel it so much. Well, that's a take. So maybe... Maybe there's a happy medium. Maybe that's the whole point of counter protests. You know? Yeah. Maybe uh, <laughs> they're holidays, but yeah. You know, maybe that's it, it's you know yeah. And then you're like this, and then a lot of people are like ah ah. I'll meet you in the middle. I'll get my regular checkup, but I won't worry too much. That's it. Hey, it's uh, it's it, it, it's it's New Beer's Day. I'll go out and 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 have an IPA with with the girls. But I'm not going to become an alcoholic. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's it. All right. That's so it. If we figure yeah, it all comes full circle. But guys, it's not about holidays, despite oh, what you think. Sorry. <laughs> it is a special day because it's Thursday. My yeah, favorite day. I know. And um, on Thursday, we do a little thing. We do a little thing called Walk Through Thursday. Roll the intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz walk through Wednesday just begun. What is up, guys? It is walk through Thursday for the first time since last week. What we do on walk through Thursday is we open up the Bible, cover Frank's face for a second. Once the Bible's open, we peruse the same way we peruse in our Instagram um, Pull. draft mm -hmm. or bracket. Mm -hmm. We peruse and we find a single verse. Right. And we try to break it down, chop it down, cut it down, set it down. Slides under the microscope. Yeah, oh, yeah. Put it on the, uh, the old Petri dish. Yeah. Look at it. And we analyze it and we go word by word. Mm -hmm. And we try to get a deeper meaning from, yeah. from each little tidbit. We can always look at the overarching themes. Right. Sometimes it's good to look at the little pieces. Yes. Little pieces. So we're going to get into it. We're going to go through it sentence by sentence, line by line, word by word, letter by letter. And if you'd be so obliged, if I'll be so obliged, <laughs> I will tell you what we're reading today. Okay. <clears throat> now, this seems a little unfair. What? I just picked any old Bible verse. It just so happens to be the same book that you can vote for today on our instagram but that's don't let that sway you don't let that name of isaiah stick in your head when you go on croak and crow instagram and you might maybe push number two no it's God, a different verse huh. it's a different verse it's isaiah 43 too as i'm reading it i think there's no spiritual significance actually no no <laughs> <laughs> so that's our show guys sorry we picked a verse with no spiritual maybe significance. just read a book of romans while you're thinking all right guys we are reading isaiah 43 2 mm -hmm. let me just let me just get into it mm -hmm. this is boring old verse when you pass through the waters i will be with you when you pass through the rivers they will not sweep over you when you walk through the fire you will not be burned the flames will not set you ablaze i like that Yep, that's Isaiah. That's Isaiah for you. Um, so do you want to just get into it? Yeah. You know what? You know why I kind of picked it because you know, still very, very, very much in the news is the Will Smith Chris Rock altercation. Yes. And um, it was about Chris. It was about Will Smith saying that he has to protect um everybody, anybody, and and he will take it into his own hands and he will act in this yeah, way. Yeah, I'm a protector. Yeah. And I'm going to I'm going to right a wrong because this is happening and maybe my wife's in pain and maybe I'm in pain because my wife's in pain and maybe I'm going to stop you from giving us pain. So I was a little bit inspired by this by this um, verse because here is God saying, but you're not. You're not yeah. in pain. I'm taking care of you. And sort of kind of like, you know, sticks and stones will break your bones, um, but names will never hurt you. This is saying that even the sticks and stones won't hurt you. Yeah. So get control of yourself. Yeah. All right. Let's walk through it. So when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. 
that's just um, life, right? Yeah. We talked about water being life in different podcasts. And um, it may seem repetitive if you just quickly look before we even start to walk. And you're going to say, okay, we get it. He's saying um, this and this and this. So that's why we have to walk through each one to see how it's, each one's a little bit different. Yeah. But I'm guessing we're starting with The first just one's the, the calmest. Life. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The first one's like nothing's even coming at you. It's just like, I'll be with you. Right. Like you're just... You're going through the waters. Like, I don't know why you're walking through the waters. Yeah. You're just going through the waters. Sometimes you don't even know you're in water. Like, um, of course, you know, <laughs> you know you're in water because you can see it and feel it. But you know when the temperature is perfectly, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm talking about Caribbean, just kind of super, con- you know how there's, Yeah. you're not cold, you're not hot, you're, it's not pushing against you. You're just kind of like a baby in in a, in the womb, you know? Yeah, but also, also you know, when you pass through the waters, like, it's not just like when you're walking through life. But I think, you know, when, especially you know, back in the day, when you're passing through waters, you're traveling, right? Like, yeah. And then it's like you're going from one place to the other. Yes. And that is, I mean, that, like, I could see that as, as through the waters. being life. And so it's like when you're passing through the waters, when you're tr- like when you're going through your journey of life. You know what I think it means? What? I think it means when you get born. Ew. When you pass through the waters, you were in the womb, Right. And when you get when you get born onto this very scary earth, I'm there. I'm there at the beginning, at the start. <laughs> Vote on our Instagram poll. <laughs> and when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. So now that now it's more of things will not hurt you. Yeah. Before is I'm with you, right? And now, I guess it's sort of like in continuation because I'm with you. We live near some very treacherous rivers. We do that. That Susquehanna, <laughs> Schuylkill, Susquehanna too. The Schuylkill, the Delaware. Um, I've known people who drowned in in the rivers by the Phil- Nile. But no, by Philadelphia, uh, rivers are treacherous. They are deep currents, and they're smaller than oceans. And people yeah. think that they can just swim oh, yeah. through them, right? And then whew, you're gone. Yes. So imagine that when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. Now, they're not, I, like I said, I know people who drowned in yeah. the river. So they did sweep over them. So this is symbolic. symbolic. Yeah. <laughs> it's safe to say that this is all symbolic. Don't just jump in the river. <laughs> you're not going to sweep over me. I read Isaiah. <laughs> Everyone who votes on your Instagram poll is going to be <laughs> jumping into rivers. Way to go. Um. <laughs> When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Okay. So this is the most painful one. This is yes. the most. I've never drowned, but I would guess drowning would be better than being burned. Yeah. 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 Um, I would. I think it's safe to say. Um, so now this is obviously um, it's a little bit of a parallel to Daniel. Okay. Is that Daniel? The three men who put in the furnace. I kn- I'm not good at recalling the Bible verses like that, but I do remember the story. Yeah, the story. Okay. And, and then they were they were put into the oh, furnace. Yes. You're right. And set it ablaze. You're right. And then they look in, and it's like because they didn't hear any screaming or anything, and they saw four men in the fire. Right. Fire went. Ooh, yeah. Fire went off. And then there was the three men walked out and yes. said, okay, you guys are free. So there, that's Your really God is a, a real reinforced God. thought, right? So that's obviously a, 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 a actual Bible verse representing this. You will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. But obviously the fire will set you on fire. Mm-hmm. But I think, you know, this is all, symbol- symbolism, all symbolism for, you know, these things in life that, that are like, coming at us that that can burn us yeah you can get burned by people you can get burned by people um what do you say when someone insults you burn but oh you just just got burned so if if chris rock if the joke you know hurt whoever heard it burn he just burned you yeah and there are people you know who will say i'd rather be physically hurt like sometimes the the, the mental or emotional hurt that you get from something, anything, yeah. heartbreak or insult or what a loss, you know, it hurts so, so, so bad. Yeah. A black eye will be gone in a, in a week. Right. Uh, that heartbreak. Let me tell you. It doesn't go away. Okay. So this is saying, though, when you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. And so... 
this is another example of God believing in you more than you believe in yourself when you say, I can't take it. Yeah. I can't handle it. Yeah. I won't be able to survive this. Um, if 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 Will Smith had heard this this uh, quote this uh, Bible verse in his head, yeah, before he went up on stage, um, would it have made a difference for him? Yeah, yeah, and like I also think when you think of like fire and burning, you think of anger. Yeah, right, and and, and it's like when you're walking through anger, you will not be burned. It's like it's almost like you will. So the fire is on fire, and then you, what's it called, will not be set ablaze. Right. So. That's you also being on fire. Right. And so it's like when you, you're dealing with like anger and evil and, and hatred, it's like it's a very trans – just like fire. Yes. Those emotions and, and, and those negative things are very easily transferable. Right. Right? Like – and so look at look – at, I mean I know this is the, the week of, of Chris Rock and – It is. And Will Smith. It's the second let's, week. Let's not even look at Will Smith yet. Let's look at Chris Rock. Okay. So – Will Smith is is the fire. Right. He's coming up on fire. Yeah. And with that hand slap, just the same way as if this hand was on fire and I touch Frank and now Spread. he's on fire. Spread it. Slap little physically it slaps him. Yeah. And the the same way it's it's this, it's like that's not gonna transfer over. I will not be set ablaze by that. Right. I will not be angered by that. Right. I will not like that fire is on fire, but it will not transfer over to me. You're right. There was a um, big visual during COVID with the matches, remember? Oh, yeah. And the matches, it, it, they, they were telling you, I guess, like, keep your distance or something. Because the, the row of matches lit, 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 lit. When the one match was out of the line, it would stop. Yeah. You know? And so same thing, like, the anger that welled up within yeah. Will. And he went to spread it to Chris. Um, He didn't spread it to Chris. But he also didn't extinguish the fire. That fire is still burning. Like yeah. we just said, it's two weeks later. We're still talking about it. Uh, so if you let God handle it, you Will would not have been consumed. Jada would not have been consumed. Yeah. But if you take it upon yourself, look what's happened. The fire is, is raging out yeah. of control right now. And, and how many situations do, do, does that happen? Yeah. Where it's like the fire just transferred, transferred, transferred. You know, like even like back in school when like, or in, in you know, um, the street gangs. I've, I've heard a little bit about them. But <laughs> all jokes aside, because it is pretty, it's it's serious. But, um. <laughs> my head. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm serious. My head's just heavy. No, I'm serious. <laughs> no, so, I'm serious too. So little things, little, like little matches. Yes. Of someone talks to someone's girlfriend. Right. And that person is now on fire. Right. And then they get into a fight with this person. Back and forth. Until now, the entire block or whatever it is right. is on fire, and there's shootings over like over it. Yes, in the same way, a forest fire can start with a single match. You know, yes. Smokey the Bear. It's, yes, it's this fire that I think biblically is speaking about mm -hmm. is the same thing, and it's like, yeah. and you need to tell yourself that like, I I cannot have like that fire will not set me ablaze. Right, that fire will like, Will Smith. That joke will not set me ablaze. Right, like I I will be unburned from right. it. Right. Yeah, I think um, acceptance yeah. and trust in the Lord. And trust in the Lord. And, and then just to go back to the story of the furnace, right? it wasn't just them, right? Like, like right. The, why did they not set on fire? They looked in, they saw four men. Right. And it was like, because they were standing with God, they were and with God, they were not able to be set ablaze. It right. was like, you know, I'm putting my faith in him. I'm not, right. I'm not putting my, my human emotions of, uh, we're in the fire right now. Right. It's, I'm with God. And right. look, up, I came out unburned. Yeah, you you see a lot. You know, I always talk about poster verses and poster sayings of um, r r spirituality. You, see, you hear "let go" and "let God." Yeah, a lot. And um, there's a Trinidadian saying. Um, it's called "buff proof." Yeah. And it, I just wanted to bring this up because a lot of people are still saying, "Well, uh, well, I I would have done the same thing. Will would have done right. Yeah, I'll hit I'll hit the person because I I need to change their mind." If you have that mindset, you've never hit someone whose mind didn't change. Yeah, and those people exist. Yeah. And like I said, in Trinidad, it's called buff proof. You can beat someone into a coma. They will not change their mind. Yeah. They will still make the joke about your wife. And that's when you realize, oh, I can't force someone else. Yeah. You know, acceptance, trust in God, vote for Isaiah. Wait, what? <laughs> well, just finally, before we wrap up. Um, so when you will walk through the fire, you burn, I, it, it's kind of um, uh, reminiscent to the 23rd Psalm. Of, of, yeah, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Oh, yeah, of fear right. and evil. But... 
like these verses, you know, you can change them. And like, oh, how do you pray? You can say this as a prayer. You can say, um, when I pass through the waters, you'll right. be with me. I love to change the pronouns. When I pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over me. When I walk through the fire. So if anything. If, That's great. When something happens to you, when I walk through the fire, I will not be burned. The flames will not set me ablaze. You can just tell you tell yourself in the head next time you feel a little angry. I love that. And yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. But guys, that is Walk Through Thursday. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did not, then um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. But uh, yeah, go to our Instagram. Join the polls. Vote for Romans. Um, and yeah, that's it. No more words from you. <laughs> Peace.